been a little while since our White Acres special match roundup, but we're finally back again. We've had a few matches, haven't we? And we've uh, had some good matches. You've not put your feet up, have you? After your result down at White Acres. Well, I think we've both not had a bad time, haven't we? We've both That's caught plenty of fish. Um, I've not been out as much as I'd like, to be honest. Most of what I've done has been focused around some qualifiers, uh, Fishermania, Fishing Association, Fish North. Yeah. You've had a few good matches, some of your shop matches. Yeah, shop um, matches, um, shop final. Uh, yeah. Been 50 fish the Winter League this year. Um, half of the, the anglers that fish was like fish the final. Willers down at Lindome. Um, probably one of my favourite lakes down at Lindome. Yeah. But, uh, but what about you? So you started off at? Uh, fish tunnel, out at tunnels. Yeah, tunnel Barn Farm, Fishermania. We were just sort of coming out of that sort of winter into early spring spell worm with fishing was picking up few more bites to be had and a bit like white acres there was loads and loads of meat fishing at tunnels and then i'd actually had a good chat with you about just that style of fishing in general you've done a lot of it at tunnel we came back from white back. acres didn't we and it was something that we did a little bit down at white yeah. acres and um I we went, spoke about it yeah. yeah i went to that match feeling really really confident to be honest i felt like if i could draw a peg what I'd learnt myself fishing like that at White Acres and obviously a lot of little bits and pieces I picked up off you over mm. that week and on the way to tunnel we were on the phone discussing yeah. it and I felt really confident. Yeah. So I went into the draw bag and I drew peg 25 on extension which it's a nice peg to be honest. Yeah. Not Probably not where I would have chose to win the match but definitely yeah. a good area. I prefer yeah. a little bit further to the left yeah. of 21, 22. Um, really wanted to be on canal to be honest i felt that was going to be the lake mm. canal possibly jenny's possibly club but good peg definitely couldn't complain there's always half a yeah. chance on extension especially as the weights were going to be a little bit lower yeah. uh really simple approach for me and it was just meat everywhere I fed a little bit of mushy meat and some cubes across threw cubes short and threw a few cubes down the edge with the option to pop some of my mush in there when i was fishing it as well mm -hmm. actually got off to a brilliant start i caught mm. sort of seven or eight fish straight away in the first half an hour Really, I always think you can tell when you're on the right bait. You don't get many indications. It just sits there, wax under, and you get one. It was exactly like that for half an hour. Yeah. Proper fish. None of the stockies that have gone in there. Sure. Um, no, that was started off across to the island. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm loose feeding short. That's where I'm going to win. If mm -hmm. I'm going to win, I think. But I wanted to go off to a good start. Depth so of water across. across was it tight or? Two and a half foot. It's, it sort of reeds there. You can't mm. really get in any tighter, and that became a problem actually because I caught a few, and then the fish felt like they wanted to be in shallower water yeah but i couldn't get in any shallower water started missing a few bites foul hooked a few and to be honest the match sort of ran away from me a little bit at that point uh sam collett was next to me to my right on 27 he was actually catching a few fish um and he got off to to quite a good start and then moving on from there later on in the match it gradually got better and better and better started catching short and that was it last hour and a half I had a really good run uh, fishing actually quite positive something i picked up off you i fished sort of a just a standard f1 type rig all 17 fxt main line to an all 13 up length but elastic wise i fished our 14 to 16 hybrid yeah. which is quite a heavy elastic isn't it but yeah. like you spoke about to me you can get them out your peg really quick get yeah. them straight in the net and yeah. felt like that was a bonus when i started catching really yeah. caught quick caught well yeah. caught up with sam next to me we were really close come the end um, I can't remember our exact weights now, it was quite a while back, but I think he had about £82 and I had about £90, maybe yeah. just over £90. Yeah. Sixth in the match, yeah. so decent result, mm -hmm. 120 people fishing, good result. Yeah. Uh, John Alexander won that one, £113 off Canal Peg Three. Three. Yeah. And looking back, could I have caught that? possibly with the absolute perfect match but mm. I've just caught a few more across early on got my feeding a little bit wrong short I was throwing a little bit too much in which again something you mentioned to me about how little you can feed but mm. I get carried away through a bit yeah. too much in and yeah. later on when I caught I just potted sort of six or seven bits in and just sat there and waited yeah. really positive bites no liners maybe couldn't have quite caught enough to win but I could certainly have been close just wasn't yeah. quite on it right um, Good result though, nice start to the qualifiers. Yeah. Moving on after that, I've been to a couple of others. Went to Western Pools, drew a peg that I was told could be very good. Had a great first 15 minutes and then that was pretty much it. I've been to Partridge Lakes, I drew peg 10 on Covey 1. Mm. Again, can be a great peg with the wind in your face. Wind was off my back, mm. nice days fishing. Had 
80 something pound uh, no good again them two matches were won by Wayne Kearney won at Park Ridge and Andy Dyson won at not Western Pools it was Old Huff sorry yeah he won right, at Old yeah. Huff yeah so two poor matches there Good start, Good two start. poor yeah, ones. You're sixth overall, weren't you? You got six, six, six that fish, six overall, that yeah. tunnel, two really bad Who's results. Who's in the top five, weren't it? It was, uh, you know, you got your Jamie Hughes's and I think yeah. Christian was in there as well, weren't you? I think he was. Uh, it was like no, I don't it was think so was. close, weren't it? It was yeah, so I can't close. Jordan Holloway, maybe. It was a really, really close match. Always Jordan that Holloway, tunnel, isn't it? that's right. It was. It was doesn't Jordan, matter if two hundred right. pound wins that tunnel or eighty pound wins. It's always close, isn't yeah, it? Lots it of backup is. weights. So yeah, yeah, good start to Fisher for me with that. Then two yeah. poor results in Fisher, uh, and then I was moving on to the next one. And in this time, you would have been on the commercial national, national I think. Commercial national. It was my first trip out with the Woodlands uh, Lakes lads up at uh, Thirsk. Yeah. Uh, newly bought team to put together and came away from now the uh, Lindome Avengers, which was obviously plenty of banter flying about in the morning with Aaron yeah. and Neil and the lads and what have you. So looking forward to that, a great, you know, great uh, meet up with the new lads and we've got a set of draws. And to be honest with you, we had, we had one or two decentish pegs. Myself had a decent peg. I was happy with my peg on Loco 17, but a couple of lads had some pegs that was just, you know, it was going to be tough. Yeah. You know, in that match, it's, you know, it's busy on the lakes. Tight pegs. Big, 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 uh, big turnout for uh, for Lindome, and any any venue suffers a little bit when um, you've got that amount of people yeah. on the lakes. And not just that, the conditions were absolutely horrendous, yeah. weren't yeah. they? So not only have you got tight pegging, you've got people who really struggle to fish yeah. at all with yeah. really, really strong winds. Yeah. Um, and I know there was a couple of people in that team, like there was a draw up the top end of Laurels where it's not great anyway, and That's then right. you've got a bad wind in your face. Yeah. and. Yeah, we have, we have Benny's, impossible. which is always going to be even more difficult on Benny's because, you know, there's always going to be some fish feeding, as, yeah. you know, as good as Benny's is. Uh, but one of the lads uh, drew 41 peg, which was just completely out of it, to be honest with you. And that back bay fished a little bit awkward and where he was, he just hadn't got a chance. So we had another lad on laurels, the same as again, he was just in the sat in the corner. I've had it myself on there a couple of years ago, sat on peg six on laurels in the corner and we, you know, we're talking. You can just be almost baitless. Exactly. Well, I mean, you one know. thing about Lindorm, it does hold up to the pressure it does. and match that size so right. well. I'm not sure yeah. anywhere else could actually host that match, yeah, could it? Yeah, that's right. Any venue suffers a little bit, conditions didn't help. But I think the fishing in general was actually pretty good, good wasn't was it? Fortunate. You had a great day. Loco, because he put in 24 pegs, uh, tw you know, one angler for 24 teams, one angler from each team in a section. Uh, so Loco sort of holds up quite nice with that because there's 50 pegs on there and 24 on there. It's, uh, it's literally every, every other, other peg. peg. And that's what, uh, that's what I had on. So peg 17, I got a north, more easterly north wind off my right shoulder. But like you say, it was it went 30, 40 mile an hour winds yeah. and it was just... A bit gutted really because I really fancied it to catch Shallow and there'd been some fish, there'd been some big weights leading up to the match on Loco uh, Shallow. So I was, it was perfect for myself what I was looking for. Set the usual, set the pallet waggler rods up, uh, straight lead rods, long range feeder chucked to the sunken island that's still, you know, still out there. Yeah, I mean, I think that island's not yeah. what it once was, is it? It's no. got a bit smaller over the years and probably doesn't hold quite the number yeah, of fish get, now, does I'm it? probably on the best peg for it. It's got a slight, like, you know, slightly shorter count on. It's 56 turns, if I remember rightly. And I think you get a count of like five, I think, with a, you know, get, yeah, I think it was that. I think it was probably a three or four count, to be honest with you. But literally, yeah. once you make your clip, it's like, and back so there is a slight still you know slightly shallow water out there but didn't really want to get involved with that but it was set up uh short pole really fancied it for short pole i was torn between a little bit of maggot or or hard pellet i went with hard pellet six mil hard pellet i'd drawn a couple of pegs away two or three weeks before and didn't didn't happen on the maggot so that sort of like edged me towards swayed me towards fishing six mil pellets Start, started on that line sorry so obviously a chance of a carp or two doing that as exactly well, yeah absolutely and um there's a lot of silver fish in there and it'll just like it's whether they whether you can sort of whether they can be bothered to actually push the silver fish out so i got a spare peg to me right the lad on peg 15 couldn't actually fish back my way because of a tree that was in the way so it sort of gave me a little bit you're only allowed to go front leg pallet so I had that in mind down there. It was a little bit on the bottom. There was a few twigs and reeds and what have you, but I tried to, you know, tried to uh, find as clear a spot as possible. It'd be nice to go in, bang in front of the pallet, but you weren't allowed to because yeah. of, of the uh, front leg uh, rule. And I kicked off short on six mil pallets and a really nice start. Uh, I think I, 
I had a barbell, two barbell, and a carp in the first 25, 30, 25, 30 minutes, caught an F1, and it sort of petered out, and which was what I was expecting, but what was nice was I was able to prime my, my shallow line up, and I, probably at 40 minutes in, I was like, and I'd had one or two signs already, uh, weren't so much swirling, but there was one or two fish moving, which is always encouraging on yeah. there. We've been such a big late, normally you're waiting for them to come in. Yeah. It's nice to know they're in front of exactly. you and they're there. Exactly, and as early as that as well, so, and I've gone out, and I've had, obviously on there, normally, with it being a bit of a deeper lake, and I, I'm not, don't fish the jiggers so much, so I'm having to set a lot of rigs up from four or five foot deep up to like two foot, and I managed to swap in between them rigs for the first three hours and kept fish to, you know, kept fish coming. Not loads of fish, I would imagine, because they are big in there, big aren't they? Absolutely, big fish, big F1s. Um, you don't have to catch quick. I got a lovely little run around about with about halfway through where I probably caught five or six and as, you know, as quick as you could yeah. just lay the rig in. Uh, the, only, the only thing I had to do was because I was fishing 13 and a half, 14, I was having to hold it with two hands because of the wind. So I was having to come back a couple of joints two pouches and then go back out again so it was a little bit I'd sort of like just work hard it a little work. bit to work hard at it and um, probably got me to about 50 60 minutes from the end and I really you know I thought this is going to really go and all of a sudden the winds just got up another five or six mile an hour and it's actually just swung around a little bit from the north and I just couldn't I just couldn't I lost I just lost all presentation plus the actual toe actually picked up and went to the right and it just literally like just faded on me really Couldn't quick fish it. yeah just faded on me really yeah. quick frustrating because mm. loco is one of them lakes you know it gets better and better and better spoke better. about it didn't we on the yeah. way in the morning yeah last 40 minutes is normally yeah. brilliant on there so the best bit of your match you're obviously now missing aren't you so, yeah exactly oh, you're not sorry you're not missing the match but you're missing being able to fish the best approach that's right in that bit of the match exactly and we anyway and i've come short so obviously that sort of brought me back in short I caught a proper one and a right lump short. Didn't really catch anything from down the edge. I think I had one F1 down the edge. It was a bit messy with the reeds and weeds and what have you. Which put, I think I weighed, I weighed 127 pound. I think you had about 56 kilos. Is that what it was? Yeah, you? that's yeah. right. Yeah, 57 kilo. That's yeah. right. Yeah, 56, 57 kilo, 127 pound, which brought me third overall. Won the lake, actually won the lake prize. It was split into two sections of 12 on your points. So I managed to get me my point for the team, which was uh, which was a nice start for the team. Nice bronze medal. Yeah, bronze medal. Got a little medal. Had to go up and uh, receive. That was nice. And uh, unfortunately, a couple of lads, we like to say, they had the tough draws and came back. And it was at, you know, what we thought. You know, when we were looking at the draw in the morning, and uh, I think we ended up 12th overall, which was a little bit disappointing. But to be honest with you, with them couple of yeah, draws, it just really you know struggled. really struggling to pull back. We were on the ropes early. Um, I think Alex had had a decent way. I think he was fifth or sixth on the other side of Loco. He won the other section of Loco, and then Oliver's won the match outright on Benny's in the 50s. He's had. I think he's had 170, something like that. So well yeah, done to him. I think he was only a little bit ahead, wasn't he? Did he not have something like 60 kilos? I don't yeah, think it was miles yeah, ahead. Possibly, yeah, possibly. And yeah. obviously, maybe without that last 40 minutes, you yeah, could be sat here exactly, showing yeah. the cameras a nice gold yeah, yeah. medal. Exactly, it would have been nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, team on the day, Barnsley, took the victory. Just, uh, amazing group of lads. I mean, you've only got to watch yeah. them like in the morning from a distance, and the end, you know, you've got the just the. Just that you can see they're really up for it. Yeah, Do you know I what think, I mean? I think you can possibly talk about them as maybe the best team there's ever yeah, been. Now, can yeah. you? And obviously, you fished yeah. in that great yeah. Essex County team, yeah. probably one of the best teams there's ever yeah, been. Yeah, I, I sort of seals in them as yeah. well. You know, we were back then. Um, you know, we were you know super confident. You can see the confidence in them, even though they don't all. You know, they're not fishing commercials week in week out but they put the time and effort in yeah. you know they're all great anglers they can all do it but they're not fishing so you know one week they're, they're on the rivers they have probably two or three weeks on rivers two or three weeks feeder fishing yeah. then they're on the commercials but you know very, you've got to take it to them very well-rounded team can do a bit of everything but yeah can do a bit of everything very very well can't yeah they? that's right yeah so yeah, so, yeah great result so, for them great result for you unfortunately not quite so good for the team that's right, but yeah. first match that Frenzy Woodlands have ever fished yeah. together, so yeah. hopefully a great bunch of lads and a good time. Go yeah, met up with them. Um, great bunch. I think they're going to be fishing in the winter league this year, so mm. we yeah. might make an appearance might or two. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Said to them when it's a bit more difficult, there's a few skimmers about on soft pellets and depth of wind. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be yeah. up. You'll turn out. Yeah, fancy a bit of that. So then moving on from there, where are yeah. we next? So you were, so we up to Sesse yeah. for the fisher mania. Back to fish yeah. and not so much traveling this time. Five yeah. minutes to go. Uh, regular venue, man. The Oaks yeah. and. 
I haven't been much actually the last few months there. Obviously, I've been to White Acres and then come back, been busy with work, few qualified, not a chance to go. But I couldn't see past Ash Beach and Sycamore winning. Yeah. Been weights in excess of £200, pegged reasonably tightly, 60 anglers on them. But a Sunday Open gets 50 anglers, it's still the same pegging on Sycamore, a bit tighter on Ash and Beach. Yeah. Uh, Cedar hadn't been fishing quite so great, uh, £100 being a good weight. Yeah. Maple's a little bit of an unknown, yeah. and I felt like the day, the match before fish or sorry, on the Wednesday, weights were actually down quite a bit on okay. Ash Beach and Sycamore, I think a £130 one, and I felt like that Maple could throw up a surprise and there could be a weight off there, so night before Nick Speed came up and stayed with me, he was fishing, we went out, had a few drinks, a bit of food, game of pool, got there, he's not a big fan of getting out of bed and I'm not one for getting there early, so we got there, got in at the end of the draw queue and there's not many pegs left. I went in, drew peg 45 on Cedar. Now, peg 45 on Cedar is in my mind the best peg on that lake. Conditions were good, wind was blown down, a bit of scum about, but I just couldn't see how Cedar could win. Yeah. It just in my mind, Cedar was never going to win, and it. I walked about a bit, went round to Nick's peg, he was on beach, I actually really fancied his peg on a, a corner peg on beach, wind blown in. So I had a bit of a walk round with him, told him what to expect, spoke to a couple of other mates and slowly drove round to my peg, unloaded my gear, uh, and I couldn't have been more wrong. I got there <laughs> and the lake's still quite clear, no fish topping, everything's just looking like another yeah, 70, 80 pound day on cedar. That like spring mode fish, yeah. is like, really is like, yeah. Fishing to win a section. Yeah. So set up some gear, but like always with with fish, oil, you've got to try and give yourself a chance. So I went quite positive with fish. Worms across, that was going to be my approach to just maybe try and win a section, catch yeah. a few fish. Yeah. Um, and then I was going to be fishing casters shallow in the edge and across. Started off on worms across the island, got a four pound carp first chuck, lovely start. And then that was it, not a bite. Right. <laughs> Sat there 20 minutes, not yeah. a bite, thought, well, this isn't going to be very good. Oh, Nick's doing well. That was a thought in my head. Um, and then I got a little run, caught an odd fish, got to an hour, maybe got 12 pound. But there's an odd fish knocking the reeds in the edge, and I went and had a look, got one straight away, and I thought, oh, right, that's interesting. You normally don't catch shallow on cedar until late. Yeah. Uh, got another one. Waited a bit, nothing. Went across where I'd fed shallow, got one, not another bite. Back in the edge, caught three. Back across, another one. And it was a bit like that up till sort of two hours gone. Probably got £35 after two hours. So I've gone from 10 or £12 to £35. Caught maybe £20, £25 in an hour. Yeah. Things are looking good. I'm thinking, right, catch £100 here maybe. And then all of a sudden, I went across and I caught seven in seven chucks shallow. And all that done was let me rest this edge line for a little bit longer. When I come back in there, I caught maybe 10. Quick burst. And all of a sudden, I went from like £35 to £75 in half an hour. Right. And now I've got £70 halfway through on a lake that gradually gets better as the day goes on. And I'm thinking £140 is going to win. And I'm, I thought to myself, well, wow. And all of a yeah. sudden, everything changed. My concentration changed. I'm now not thinking about, well, I might win a section, have a day's fishing. So yeah, I think I can win. And to be honest, from that point on, it stayed the same. It just, I kept catching fish across, kept catching fish in the edge, yeah. catch a run, rest it. Because my other line's good, I'm resting that for a bit longer and it just got better and better and better. Yeah. And with half an hour to go, I was up to sort of 180, 190 pound. Oh, right. And the last half an hour, I ran out of bait a little bit, didn't right. have much left. I'm trying to feed like six or eight casters and they're coming up this deep and I'd hook one and they'd spook. And the last sort of half an hour was a bit slow, didn't really catch a lot. Yeah. But I've got like two hundred pound, one hundred and eighty to two hundred pound. I was thinking, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm going to win this. I can't see anyone's going to catch that on the other lakes. And as it turned out, uh, Ryan Bennett had done really well on Ash, one hundred and seventy-six pound, which mm. was yeah. a lot more than I thought someone would catch. I was thinking one forty, one fifty would win. So he's had a really good weight on there. Yeah, I weighed in two hundred and three pound. Mega weight. So massive, massive, massive surprise to me. And yeah. A really, a bit of a freak weight, to be honest, because the lake hadn't actually fished any better than what it had yeah, been. Yeah. It just all of a sudden, a load of fish in my peg, right conditions, right day, yeah. everything just went in my favour. And 
And you know Probably. the venue, don't you? You know yeah. the venue. It's not as if, like, you know, you've turned up and done something. Have you done anything different because it's a fish, no, you know, a fish really. show, you've got to win? Probably fish out more fished, positive or anything like that. I would have fished an open match, yeah. yeah so. Just happens to be loads of fish yeah. there. And the funny thing is, on the morning when I drew, I'd been away at work for sort of four or five weeks, not really been home a lot. Yeah. And when I drew on Cedar, I thought to myself, I can't win on there. And I've never ever not gone to my peg before and yeah. I nearly didn't go. I was going to go and spend the day with my wife, go out, maybe have some dinner or whatever. And when I spoke to her, she was going out anyway, I said, you might win your section. So I stayed. Did, she didn't want to upset her plans. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Yeah. So one of the, the only time I ever thought about not going to my peg at Fishermania okay. would have been the day I could have qualified. <laughs> and if I hadn't have gone to my peg, £80 would have won that lake. Jamie was at £80. And I would have probably looked at the results and thought, yeah. I never had a chance anyway, yeah. I've made the right decision. Yeah. So it just shows, whatever you think, you never quite know with fishing, and that's why we all love it. Massive, yeah. massive surprise absolutely, here and there. Yeah. Luckily, it went in my favour this time, yeah. and like you said, absolutely buzzing to be in what's now my fifth Fishermania final. Right, yeah. So Amazing. Just do a little bit of luck in the final, yeah. but brilliant, brilliant match. Yeah. Um, totally unexpected. Yeah. Just shows you never quite know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get to Westwood for the final now. Yeah. New venue for the final this year. New venue, be interesting to see what it's like. Yeah. You fished there a little bit, haven't little you? A little bit, yeah. I know, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and start having a look soon. Hopefully, Good. get a bit of practice in, get a bit yeah. of confidence built up, figure yeah. out what's going to work, what's not going to work. Yeah. And yeah, really, really looking forward to that. Yeah. So on from there, you've had a few more matches. Shot final, I think, was Shot next. final, yeah, I spoke about it earlier. Just a brief touch on it. Um, yeah, so we started off with 50 odd in the in the uh, in the league, and it's always the top half that qualify for the final. Um, so there was 27 of us on Willers, Drew Peg three. Uh, I would assume um, you being the the lovely oh, friendly tackle shop owner, you probably put up some amazing prize. Always, or something. always. Well, there's massive massive vouchers and yeah. all sorts. So yeah, you've only, got, much, you've only got the, the only the winner will get this, but the winner yeah. will be able to spend as much as he wants in that shop this year. I would imagine, <laughs> can he? <laughs> Uh, possibly, yeah, yeah, you're right. It Might as well actually, let him, yeah. Yeah, he will actually, yeah. What a prize. Uh, last what a time, man. I did actually draw it a couple of years ago and managed to win off the same peg in the final a couple of years ago. There was a tree there then, just down to the left. Aaron's, uh, it's gone now. Aaron's uh, dismantled it and it's out. It's gone. Um, so, in the venue, actually, the lake faced a little bit different to how I was expecting it to. Um, you know, as much as I really enjoy fishing shallow on there, the fish hadn't really been fishing shallow, and it, especially with no, no breeze, very, very calm on the day. And it became more just fishing on the deck, casters, light feeding, swapping and changing lines. And that's basically how it, it, it fished all day, really. It was just like two or three fish off a line move, maybe even just one fish off a line and move at times, but it was resting and, and feeding. And it got me to 94 pound, which was enough to win on the day. Just managed to pit pull right. So whenever you pit pull, you always know you've done yeah. something right, yeah, even yeah. though he probably didn't draw as well as uh, I did. So. Uh, well done to him as well, and well done to the rest of the lads. You know, top 14 got paid out on the day, and some good prizes, like you say. Yeah. And obviously, and, uh, that great prize for the winning yeah, angler. Exactly, yeah. Vouchers, free vouchers. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not next year, though. We've got to sort of start for no, next you'll year. You'll have to change the prize yeah, next exactly. year, I would have thought. But <laughs> definitely um, unlimited bait. Yeah, I would have possibly thought. Yeah. Like, possibly, yeah. yeah. I'll think Obviously, about this that. year, I mean, this year's yeah. winner, unlimited bait, I would think. Went on the Thursday match. I drew, the, I drew peg four on the Thursday match. Had a great day's fishing, totally different to Sunday's match. Uh, I was a little bit more positive. I felt like there was a little bit more colour in the water. We got a little bit more room. Um, wind was off me back, a little bit, little bit more ripple, even though it was just like coming off my right shoulder. Every now and again, it just sort of like angled in. And I've had 150, 151, I think. And it was again, it was like short bursts again, similar to how your match went at Cedar, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you would like, first off, you would sort of like just catch two or three and then you'd have to move and then all of a sudden you get a little run of four or five but then that rested that side, that yeah. rested there and you're going to get a little, little bit more of a burst. So one five one, that was a, that, so that managed to win the Thursday match and then Sunday uh, went on beaches, peg seven. Totally different lake. Yeah, I, I different quite enjoy fish. beaches. It like, gives you loads of options, you know, you've got straight lead, your little little feeders, if you're in the bowl, which I was on peg seven, there's these eyed now have definitely put some weight on, you know, they're not two or three ounces, they're four, five, six ounces now, three to the pound, odd ones even close into like two to the pound. And then you've always got the late runner margin fish that, that uh, beaches uh, holds in there's some proper fishing amongst the, you know, the F1s and everything. On the day, F1s were a bit slow, but uh, managed a, a good little start on the, uh, on the bomb. Caught shallow with casters. Uh, I've had a, probably a 25, 
27 pounder, these nice chunky eyes, probably 90 minutes. Shallow? Shallow, yeah. 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 And I, I got my rigs wrong for a start, I'd swap, I'd swap my rigs around, I'd like fishing too deep and too much on the drop and they were literally like there, yeah, there yeah. and there now. Almost like F1s yeah. when you catch them pulling your elastic out. And... Well I was, feed, was feeding up shallow and uh, while I was fishing the straight, they'd never seen the sign. Shipped my pole out and all of a sudden fed the first pouch and it was like boiling straight away. So do, as if, do you like, think that's like... because you're not paying as much yeah, attention to possibly. it? Or do you think they just weren't I was, swirling? I was keeping my eye on it for right. the, what I was hoping yeah. it was going to be. I'd, I'd like sort of sacrifice a little bit of distance. I fished at 13 to give myself a chance of an odd F1 or two, but yeah. uh, obviously if I was like targeting the uh, yeah, the eye, I might have just like a bit shorter. Yeah. Weighed one, I ended up with 107. I got a nice little run down the edges with micros and uh, an odd sixes. 107s, I had another nice little win there. So that was three like nine, three. 91 pound a second and some 60, 70, 80 pounds. It's, back. it's a good lake, to be honest with you, that lake is, because everything's got its own little individual uh, little peg and yeah. features, and so it's a good lake for like a tightly tight very, match. Very, um, a very healthy lake, that one as yeah. well, isn't it? The fish are in yeah. good condition, the fight hard, yeah. and like you say, loads of methods, loads of baits, yeah. all sorts of works. It sort of suits anyone almost, doesn't it? Yeah. If you hear people win on paste, feed, a bomb, yeah. waggler, shallow, yeah. with hide, with carp, with F1. Yeah. It's it really is. interesting lake. Yeah. And yourself, so Fish North? Yeah, uh, so moving on from Fishermania, obviously, nice little five minute yeah. drive to that, followed by- you had not heard about before. Yeah, so well, Brafferton Lakes. Brafferton. Uh, bit of a bit more to travel for this one, I had to go, I think, seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's actually, I've only ever fished one match at Brafferton, yeah. and I was probably 18 at the time, so you're talking yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, and that was on the F1 lake probably had just been open then to be honest yeah. and since then I've never been obviously it's right on my doorstep now mm -hmm. don't really have many open matches uh, quite a lot of club matches a lot of pleasure fishing but yeah. Fish North have a qualifier there every year so it was on the F1 lake which I've had that one match on but it's totally changed and the other lake was Ghost Lake which is the one I drew on the day yeah. now knew absolutely nothing about Ghost Lake but if you'd have walked around that lake and picked a peg you would have probably picked the one that I drew yeah. peg 10 um, basically there's a few little islands dotted about and I'm on this longer island right on the end of it to my left's open water to my right it's slightly narrower I've got a little mud bank I can cast to up the side of the island it's a little bit awkward to be honest getting under the trees and that type of thing and yeah. then a, a massive overhanging tree oh, so that, you had an overhanging tree yeah, that I can reach with 16 metres I'm, I was probably this far I'm probably under the highest branches yeah. but not yeah, against yeah. branches that reach okay. the water probably that far off yeah. close enough Yeah. Um, started on method feeder ground bait around that, maggots on the hook, chucked it up to this bit of bare banking. First cast never had a bite, second cast never had a bite, third cast a tail probably this big come up above my feeder. Okay. Some massive carp in that lake. Rod nearly got pulled in, picked it up, six ounce ghost Plus, F1. Yeah. yeah, that was a bit <laughs> How frustrating. How many times that happened? It goes to show what's there, doesn't it? So I've probably had 20 minutes on the feeder, that's the only fish I had, and no one's really catching anything. I was looking about thinking, I thought it'd be better than this. And just as I thought that, I fired some casters in, and a branch moved. A bit back from where I can probably get in, but a branch moved, and I fired again, and a back come out. All oh, right. So I thought, oh, I suppose, <laughs> I suppose if they're asking me, ship across. if they're asking me, I better have a go. So <laughs> I went across, and that was my day, to be honest. I sat a fish shallow most of the day between sort of six and twelve inches. That type of fishing up to cover, much deeper than 12 inches, is normally a waste of time, yeah. isn't it? I yeah. find everything yeah. must be right up in amongst these branches, in amongst yeah. whatever's there. Yeah. And I had a brilliant, brilliant day's fishing. Now, next peg to me was Chris Kendall, and he fished in a very similar way, loose feed and casters across to the cover, and he's caught really well all day. And yeah. Really good match, to be honest, great battle. He had me under pressure the whole time, because mm. anyone who's watched Chris, he's never the quickest angler in the world at getting them in. He takes his time a little bit, takes it a bit steady, but he always gets a fish, mm. and that's what makes him so good. He wins loads and loads of Some matches, especially on that type of fishing, that F1 shallow start. Yeah. And he's brilliant at it. Mm. And he just sort of never let me get anything like ahead, let me pull away. Yeah. In fact, with an hour ago, I felt like he was maybe just slightly ahead of me. As it turned out, he probably wasn't, because we both put a fourth net in, very similar time. His last net had, I think, 23 pound, a man of 42 or something like that. Yeah. And we finished up with 181 pound and 161 pound. Yeah. So that last hour was really the difference. And I just managed to pull away and I could feel mm. him slowing down. And my peg was getting a little bit stronger. Luckily for me, that was enough to win the lay. Yeah. And a place Great in result. the Fish North semi-final. But yeah, 
Chris was really unlucky, he fished brilliantly. Yeah. And I just had that little bit of luck at the end. I think he ran out of bait a little bit as well, had to cut back, similar right. to what I was saying yeah. at Hawks. And uh, yeah, I got a little bit of luck, but brilliant match. It's sometimes, although it's frustrating when you're next to someone like that, and they keep catching and it's hard work, keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? It really does, yeah. pushes you exactly. to keep Chris going as well. Let you, no, he won't ever let you just have an easy run in, would I? No. Chris so, wouldn't. No, I, yeah, great, uh, great match. And, and I heard your fishing enough. association first round? Yes, that was actually just before that. Uh, that was against Tim Haig. Right. Luckily, I got the home draw. There okay. seems to be a lot of luck in this match report for me. <laughs> um, yeah, well, a lucky home draw. Now, I've not been fishing a lot of open matches, like I said, but took him to Oaks on Ash Beach and Sycamore, which obviously somewhere I've fished loads, so I felt that was my best advantage. Peg 10 on beach. Uh, peg I was happy enough with, maybe not the best of pegs, but I like beach when it's lower weight, it's big fish, don't need to catch many. I had a really nice match, I caught mugging to start with, probably caught £45 first hour and a half. Bit of a slow middle, and then yeah. last two hours caught really, really well on meat short. Yeah. Uh, finished up with £150, put me fourth in the match. Uh, Book me a place in and how, round how are the lakes changing? Are the lakes changing since last year? I know the. Mm, it's hard to tell at the minute because they're at that point where the fish aren't massively feeding. Yeah. Um, a lot of fish just sort of cruising about, and any time now they're ready to start eating. Yeah. I think maybe yeah. this warm spell we're having at the minute. Yeah. I think water will colour up yeah. a bit more. Fish will start feeding. Well, the big some, money matches up and weights. down the country, you know, they're coming thick and fast, and the carp are definitely waking up, aren't they? We've noticed yeah. like two and three hundred pound weights now winning some of these big money matches. So, you know, the next week or two, I think there'll be yeah. some huge weights. Yeah, I agree with you. And I know next week, I'm actually going on a festival next week. Um, one Wayne Sharman's running at Midlands. Barston, Meadowlands, Packington. Really looking forward to that. I wouldn't really, really looking forward to it, but I wouldn't be surprised if the fish start spawning. I think the yeah. forecasting this week's all sort of 18, yeah. 19, 20, next week mid 20s. Yeah. So we'll see how that affects the fishing. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant venue. So really looking forward to it, but yeah. probably not going to be far off spawning time now, I think, with the way the weather's going. That's right, yeah. And what have you got happening? Oh, when am I going at the weekend? I'm on Willers again, I'm back on Willers on the window. And we, we, uh, no, just an open match on Sunday. Right. So, yeah, so looking forward Willow to that. Willow specialist at the Willow minute. Willow specialist at the moment. <laughs> um, skimmers, F1s, yeah, looking forward to that. And you? Yeah. So get, I would say, get, get this ready festival, for the festival out the way yeah. and then on to fish or practice, I think. Try and get on Brilliant. some matches there. Yeah. Hopefully go and figure a thing or two out, yeah. catch some fish. Brilliant venue, isn't it? So yeah. looking forward yeah. to that. So we'll be back again soon with our next update. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be too long. Hopefully. Yeah. Our form will continue because I think we've both, uh, right. yeah, we've we've both had a good month or two, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. So hopefully we'll be back soon. We'll catch up with you then and check out any other videos on the Frenzy YouTube channel while you're waiting for us to be back with the next match roundup. We'll see you soon.